Hey, what's up? It's Sebastian and welcome back to the channel. So today I am doing another fight night best versus worst challenge where I play as the worst fighter in the division and try to take on the best fighter in the division on the hardest difficulty in the game, the Hall of Fame difficulty. So today I am taking on boxing legend Bernard Hopkins. Let's go. For those who don't know, Bernard Hopkins was a real solid boxer. I'm talking about an absolute legend. He defeated Oscar De La Hoya in his prime, while Bernard Hopkins was way outside of his prime. That is crazy. Anyway, so on to the fight. My strategy right here is kind of like to fill out. I haven't watched very much like footage on Bernard Hopkins, just a couple of like highlight films. And he seems like he has a re real mean hook and a real mean uppercut, so, wow. I'm gonna take advantage of that and kind of use the counter punch game to kind of neutralize that power. Boom, timing over power every time. So, wow, come with a third counter punch right there, boom. I am really connecting with these straights and these jabs. None of these are really like damaging him hard. I'm gonna be surprised if like, he is like doing way more damage on me than I'm doing on him, but I'm kind of just letting him know that I have the reach and I am not afraid to use it with the jab. So far, it looks like a really evenly matched fight. I think he has definitely the more significant strikes in the fight, but you know, I don't feel like he's done like an extraordinary amount of damage on me yet. Oof. I'm telling y'all, in my scouting report, I saw he loves the hook, kind of favoring it there. And he is showing like he is not afraid to throw power behind it. Yay. So now he's throwing out some jabs, some straights, kind of filling me out as well. I'm being a little more defensive, trying to like feel him out, trying to get his range down, and then I'll capitalize. Again, drawing him in, using those jabs when he comes into my range a little bit. Letting him wear himself out with these uppercuts he's not connecting with so mm, hit him with some more jabs yeah kind of oof man i was just a second too late for that counter punch there bow warm and pelking him up with these jabs just giving him a little pepper mm, he tried for that hook again yeah he's doing some damage with these body shots right here and he's going like hooks to the body and he's connecting but you know i feel like i'm doing a really good job covering up though giving him a little bit up because i want to get a little damage on him before the round ends man oof oh whiffed on those whiffed on those that's good Woo! man i was just a second too late for that counter punch but i feel like that was a really good exchange that i got the better of wow Warming them up, pe peppering them up again with these jabs. Boom. Ooh. He is throwing, like, caution to the wind with these uppercuts. He's trying to knock me out. But I'm glad he didn't connect with any of them. Get this off the screen. Like, I'm, I'm not an amateur. Let's go. So, yeah. Looks like he did some damage on me. 14%. That's not so bad, though. That's a pretty good round for us. I'd probably give that a 10-9 Hopkins round. But, you know, I feel like that was really close. He didn't get, like, too far of the advantage. And I feel like I didn't get, like, let him get any, like, significant strikes in. Boom, he hit me with a mean counterpunch as soon as I said that. Wow, I exchanged a counterpunch right back with the uppercut of my own. So this is a really close fight. I feel like he has, like, a little bit of trouble getting, like, that distance now caught him with another counter punch caught him with another one right there that was two counter punches on that exchange that i got him with no power punches though just really one straight and one jab so not anything super significant just kind of peppering him up boom caught him with a significant shot right there with that uppercut though counter uppercut that was nice now he's getting a little bit like i shouldn't have let my guard now he hit me with like five straight shots right there when my guard straight down boom caught him caught him again with those counters i'm really making those counter punches work for me they add up everyone man i'm telling you if you want to succeed in fight night champion just get range down let them wear themselves down a bit and then utilize those counter punches it's all about timing boxing is a sweet science boom hit him with another counter right there 
Yeah, boxing's a sweet science. Be meticulous and know your fighter strengths. So, yeah, that's my little advice tip tidbit there. I'm going to get off my soapbox here and get back to the fight. Oof. Again, he's trying to go to the body, though. He's trying to make the body shots add up in the later rounds, but I don't think he's going to make it that far. Boom. He hit me with a mean counter punch there, though. And there's a brutal exchange, some uppercuts exchanged by both of us. Yeah, he's really throwing some sweet, nasty uppercut because straight to my body. Oof. He's trying again for some more, like, jabs, and I think he mixed in, like, a sh really good hook there, but no, nothing really damaging, though. Boom. Caught him with some more jabs there. Just to remind him I have that reach there. Woo! Swing and a miss from both of us, but I feel like I caught him on the outside a little bit. There we go. Not really connecting on either side, but, you know, really good defense. Boom! Caught him with another counter. Count him with another counter straight. Again, warming him up with them jabs. Just letting him know it's still available for me. There's a lot of volume punches in this match. Especially in this round. I feel like we've been utilizing a lot more. Ooh, got him. Yeah, to finish my thoughts, though, I feel like we've been utilizing it and, and, like, burning a whole lot more energy in this round than we did in the last. The last one, I felt like it was way more meticulous. This was a more fast and fierce. Oh, my Lord. Look at all that damage you did on me. Man. I probably let it fly too much. Now we're, like, fairly even in the stamina game. I'm 71. He's 68. He probably took that round as well because he hit me with some mean, nasty shots. More so to the body than anything else, and that's probably where the damage came from. Woo! Bow! Caught him with a mean uppercut. Oh. Yeah, it was a nice uppercut counter right there. Again, he is, like, wearing me down in the body area. If he can make this a long, dragged-out fight, those are going to add up later. Man. Woo! Not letting him get any of the significant strikes with those. Kind of just... Letting him come in a little bit, wear himself down a little bit, and I'll just get a little bit better of the exchange on the way out. Like that. Yep. Let him lean in a little bit, expend some energy, cover up the punches, and then, like, try to get a little bit of punches on the way out. Boom. Just like that. Hit him with a couple of straights now. Put a little power behind it. Boom. Boom. There we go. Another another couple of straights that I connected with. Letting him come to me. Boom. Hit him with a couple of jabs right off the top. Boom. Blocking really well right here. Yeah. Letting him come to me again. Let him burn that energy. Boom. Hitting him with some jabs on the way out. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Nah. Boom. Got him with some more jabs on the way out. Oof. He timed that a lot better that time. Now that was a really good exchange. Both of us getting some, like, really good shots in. Oof. He's hitting me with some mean power punches now. I feel like he's got my timing now, and he's, like, really, really doing a lot better. Mm. See, he drew me in that time. That was a really smart move. Mm. He's whiffing though. Burn that energy. Just burn that energy. Boom. Both of us are trying for the jabs a little bit more now. I feel like jabs is the punch of the day in that exchange. Ooh. He is really throwing some volume punches right here. Not he's got some little stank behind him, and he's like really throwing a high volume amount of punches. Yeah, I got got him on the exchange a little bit. Boom. I was trying for the counter. I was a little late, just a hair late and for that counter punch. Again, he's throwing a couple of jabs, a little jabs to the body. Oh, he hit me with a mean, mean right cross to the body. Another jab to the body. I'm protecting that pretty well, though. About six seconds left. I can score again. There we go. Score off the top. Go ahead, bring them to me, and then let the round in. There you go. 
Oof. My eye is messed up. Look like I got something about to be. Oof, that's ugly. But look at that stamina, though. He hit mine at 58. His at 57. So, Teddy's scorecard has Bernard Hopkins up in the first two rounds, and he has me winning that last round, even though I had, like, a lot of damage done to it. Ooh, well done to me, I mean. But, man, yeah, I am really being meticulous here, but he is really coming forward. He's staying aggressive. He's not really worried about that energy consumption. But, and he's landing some really quality shots here. So, yeah, I would probably have him winning this fight as well, but I feel like it's anyone's ball game right here. Still close. Got him with a counter on that straight right there. Yeah, he whiffed on that, and then I connected with a straight coming in again. Boom, caught him on another counter jab. And then come to me. There you go, hit him with a mean straight. I put some power behind that one. Yeah, he whiffed on those again, but boom, I didn't. Caught him with some jabs on the way out. And now, just waiting for him. Boom, got him. Told y'all, timing over everything. Get your timing right, and you'll be really good at this game. Bow, caught him with that straight. He's hurt. He's hurt. His health's a little high. I'm probably not going to knock him down on this, but that was a good shot to stun him. Yeah, I feel like I really took advantage of that. Boom. I'm not really doing a whole lot of damage here, but... The timing of my punches are what counts. Boom, got him with another couple of jabs right there. I'm not utilizing a whole lot of power shots. I'm using a lot of power time shot, though. There we go. Let him miss a little bit more. I missed my jabs there, but, you know. Ooh, got him with that counter jab, though. That counter jab's really not going to hurt a whole lot, but it is going to do more damage than usual because it is a counter, though. So, boom, caught him with a counter straight that time. Not fully extended, but still, boom, caught him with another counter jab. Yeah, I got his timing down pat now. It's only a matter of time. He's either going to knock me out or I'm going to pick him apart. Woo, got him. Boom, hit him with the mean uppercut. He's going out. He's going down. That uppercut at the end. Bow, the second uppercut put him down on the canvas. That's a sweet little replay right here. I didn't mean to throw the extra ones after he was going down, but man, I'd be surprised if he gets up, though. What? He's getting up. What heart. Man, I hit him with some mean, mean uppercuts. And he went down and he got back up. That's some heart for you right there. Oh, caught him with that cross right there. That oof. Cross hook. Oh, got him. Yeah, got to let him come to me. I'm just going to let him finish out this round right here. There you go. There you go. End of the round. My health is absolutely in dangerous territory. If I was him, I'd very much like wait for time shots and then throw all the power I had into those time shots. Because, I mean, his stamina is low, but my health is even, it's just as low as his stamina. So I would just time my shots a little better and throw some power shots at me. Protect myself at all costs. And I think Bernard Hopkins can still win this fight despite being the one to going down in that last round. Woo! Got him. Oof. And now just wasting away some time with Man, I missed with that hook just then. It's all good though. Still gotta be patient. Yeah, man, I'm missing with these hooks. But that's alright. I have a feeling I'm about to knock him out with a mean hook, so he's leaving us wide open for one. Let's see if I can get it. Here we go. Oh caught him with it. Bow! Ooh. Oh, that was ugly. Oh, laid him down. Oh, my goodness. Got him laid on the canvas. It just spread eagle. Looked like he trying to, like, make a snow angel on the canvas. Like, oh, that was ugly. He ain't getting up. Yep, ring the bell. He wasn't getting up after that. Oh, my goodness. What a mean, mean hook on that. 
Man, that was nasty. Oof. It was a close fight, but man, I feel like once I got him hurt, I just put my foot on the throat and did not let him up, did not let him back into the fight. And then at the end, I just connected with some very solid counter punches until I got that mean hook that laid him out. Yeah, man, I'm talking about that was a mean knockout. That was vicious. Mm. Stank. Oof. Man, I'm telling you, if I got knocked out like that, I wouldn't fight no more. That boy got laid out. Boy, he got hit like Debo laid that boy out on Friday. Ooh, that was ugly. Man. All right, so that's been another best versus worst challenge fight night edition where I play as the worst fighter in the division and take on the greatest of all time, the legends in the game on the hardest difficulty, the greatest of all time difficulty. So if you like that video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and smash it as hard as you can. Thank you all for watching. Hope all is well. Have a good day. Peace.